Consider the Fourier transform of f of x cos ax that is equal to minus infinity to infinity e power isx f of x cos ax dx. In order to evaluate this integral, integral minus infinity to infinity e power isx f of x, we know cos x cos x equal to cos theta formula is given by we know cos theta equal to e power i theta plus e power minus i theta by 2 we know cos theta equal to e power i theta plus e power minus i theta by 2 in place of theta here a x write down this as e power i a x plus e power minus i a x by 2 dx. So it is equal to half of integral minus infinity to infinity exponential functions basis same at powers. So you will get e power i s plus a of x plus e power i s minus a of x into f of x dx this function already we have taken to outside of integral this can be written as half into minus infinity to infinity e power i s plus a of x f of x dx plus integral minus infinity to infinity e power i s minus a of x f of x dx can be written as this is e power isx f of x dx means capital f of s here this can be denoted with the capital f of s plus e plus f of s minus e this is modulation property and the fifth property is a derivative property. Derivative property, fifth one. Its statement is Fourier tran if Fourier transform of the function f of x equal to f of s, then derivative property means we are going to find out Fourier transform to the derivatives of f of x. Then Fourier transform of derivatives of f of x means uh, d by dx of f of x. In another notation, Fourier transform of f dash of x. Then Fourier transform of f dash of x equal to minus is Fourier transform of the function f of x. Here one condition we have to assume. Assuming that f of x tends to 0 as x tends to plus or minus infinity. Proof to this one is given that Fourier transform of the function f of x equal to integral minus infinity to infinity e power i s x f of x dx. We denote this as capital F of s. Now we have to find out Fourier transform of f dash of x. According to the basic definition, this is e power i s x f dash of x dx. Now we have to evaluate this integral. To evaluate this integral, we are going for by parts formula. That is integral u v dx. Here you integral u v dx formula is integral u v dx integration by parts formula is u integral v minus integral of u dash integral v. This is by parts formula. According to this one, integral 
integral u v dx equal to u into u means e power i s x into integral v v is f dash integral v means f of x itself minus integral u dash integral u dash means with respect to x we are doing the derivative that's why i s into e power i s x this is u dash integral v that is f of x limits are minus infinity to infinity here also limits minus infinity to infinity equal to we had integration with respect to x over so in place of x limit substitution already we know as x tends to plus or minus infinity f of x tends to zero so in place of x if you substitute either upper or lower limit uh, this function value becomes zero so that the whole value zero so you will get minus i s integral minus infinity to infinity e power i s x f of x dx that is capital f of s therefore capital f of f dash of x equal to minus i s f of s so again i am writing derivative properties fourier transform of f dash of x equal to minus i s capital f of s similarly we will get fourier transform of f double dash of x equal to minus i s whole square f of s in general fourier transform of nth order derivative of x equal to minus i s whole power n capital f of s this is derivative property and one more property from the fourier transforms is one more property from the fourier transforms is fourier cosine transform of x f of x equal to d by d s of fourier sine transform of the function f of x one more property from fourier transforms is prove that fourier cosine transform of x into f of x equal to d by ds of fourier sine transform of f of x similarly another one is there fourier sine transform of x into f of x equal to minus d by ds of fourier cosine transform of the function f of x so in order to prove these two for the first one solution is we know fourier sine transform to the function f of x equal to integral 0 to infinity sin s x f of x dx fourier sine transform taking d by d s on both sides that is differentiating with respect to x on both sides you will get d by d s of fourier sine transform of the function f of x equal to d by d s of integral 0 to infinity sin s x f of x dx taking derivative with respect to s here if you apply d by d s on this one here first differential operator and later integral operator if you pass the derivative operator through the integral it turns to the partial derivative do by do s it is called leibniz rule sin x f of x dx now with respect to s partial derivative we are doing with respect to s means partial derivative we treat x a constant derivative of sin is cos sx with respect to s we are doing so s is only the variable x is constant so we will get into for sin function cos sx for sx we will get 
x f of x dx how to write down this integral sin sx f of x dx means sin fourier sin transform here cos sx into some function dx this is fourier cosine transform of this function that is x f of x and the left part is d by ds of fourier sine transform of the function f of x so the first one is fourier cosine transform of x f of x equal to d by ds of fourier sine transform of the function f of x similarly for the second one we know fourier cosine transform to the function f of x as integral 0 to infinity cos sx f of x dx taking differentiation on both sides with respect to s so that d by ds of fourier cosine transform to the function f of x equal to integral 0 to infinity as the derivative pass through the integral it becomes the partial derivative so cos sx f of x dx it is equal to integral 0 to infinity for cos derivative is minus sin sx into x with respect to s that's why for sx x f of x dx it is equal to minus integral 0 to infinity sin sx x into f of x dx this is can be written as fourier sine transform of the function x f of x shift minus sine to another side so that minus d by ds of fourier cosine transform of the function f of x so fourier sine transform of x f of x is minus d by ds of fourier cosine transform this completes the properties of Fourier transforms.